In this video we'll look at graphs, uh, what they are and how to draw them. And we'll start by looking at the graph of uh, x times y equals 16. And the graph is the set of all the points whose coordinates x, y satisfy x times y equals 16. Notice coordinates x, y, always alphabetical x then y. And when it comes to the graph we've got x is the horizontal axis and y is the vertical one. If you ever struggle to remember that, some people like to think of x as across, because it literally is when you when you write it, uh, across. So one point on this graph, for example, is the point uh, 2, 8, with x equals 2 and y equals 8, because we've got, uh, when we substitute in 2 for x and 8 for y, we get 2 times 8, which is equal to 16. So if I'm trying to draw the graph, which is the set of all these points, uh, that's going to be uh, on the graph, so let me put in that point there, 2, 8. Similarly, that means that uh, 8, 2 would work. 8 times 2 is 16, so that's another point there. That's the point we've got x coordinate 8 and y coordinate 2. Um, and we could keep finding more points like this. These three all work. 4, 4, 1, 16, where I've written the y there, and 16, 1 here. Um, we might think about uh, other values that could work. We could have some negative values that work. Actually, all of the negative versions of these work as well. So minus 2 minus 8 would work, because it's still the case that minus 2 times minus 8 is 16. Uh, so minus 2 minus 8, and the equivalent negative points of all of these other ones will work as well. So let's just put all of those in there as well. Um, and now we're pretty much done with you know, whole number of solutions that work. So, is this the graph? Well, not quite, because actually it's instead of all points whose coordinates satisfy this, and although these are all the ones with whole numbers that work, actually we could find others, like 6, 2 and 2 thirds. You could check that that would also work, so I could put uh, that, that one in here, roughly here. So actually there's all these points in between uh, the uh, other points that also work. Um, and when we draw a graph, we often use just like nice easy whole number points to get a sense of the, the, the whole picture of the graph. So let me fill in the rest of this. So it looks like this. I've joined them with a nice smooth curve. Um, and if I'd done this really accurately, then I could read off any particular point and it would be exactly a point that would, uh, that would work in this, uh, in this relationship. So if I wanted to know, uh, you know, what pair went with minus three, I could, uh, I could read it off here. Um, and I would get uh, 5, it looks like about minus uh, 5 and a bit. And in fact, exactly, it should be five, minus 5 and 1 third. That would be the pair of values that would make this work. Uh, notice a couple of things about this. Firstly, the graph uh, doesn't go through either of the axes here, because if I tried to put x equals 0, then if I was looking for a value that still had x times y equals 16, well, if x is 0, this 0 times anything is 0, so it would have 0 equals 16, and that, and that doesn't work. So there's no point with x equals 0, the graph doesn't go through here, and similarly there's no point with uh, y equals 0, the graph doesn't go through uh, here. So an interesting graph that's in two pieces. But the important point is that the graph is instead of all of these points, the whole number of ones we found, and all the ones in between joined by a smooth curve. Here's another one, uh, it's a bit tr trickier maybe, x squared plus y squared is 16. Um, so, can we find any points whose coordinates satisfy this? Have a think about it before you uh, carry on with the video. Um, well, things that work, I've got things like naught 4 because uh, naught squared plus 4 squared, that's 0 plus 16, uh, so that's 16, so x equals naught, y equals 4. I could also have made uh, y minus 4 instead there because the minus 4 squared is still 16, and I could have switched them around and made them 4 and 0, or minus 4 uh, and 0, so there's four coordinates that work. Um, this point, so I think, well, actually, I uh, don't know um, what this looks like. Quite hard to find any more uh, exact points that this graph goes through, but we still don't really know exactly what the shape is. So I might have to just sort of pick a value. So maybe like pick x equals two, uh, and see what happens. So at x equals two, I'd have x squared plus y squared is 16, but x is 2, so that's 4, so 4 plus y squared is 16, that means that y squared is 12, so y is the square root of 12. And putting that into the calculator, we see that uh, y would be about 3.46, so I could try and put that in approximately 2 and 3.46, uh, 
Um, that would also give me some other corresponding points because of the symmetry in here actually minus this value would also work for y so 2 and minus 3.46 similarly I could switch x and y again and have 3.46 and uh, and 2 um, I could have 3.46 and minus 2 I could have uh, minus 3.46 uh, and minus 2 and I could have minus 3.46 and plus 2 so actually finding that one gave us loads of uh, different points which also I've got um, also got minus 2 and 3.46 and minus 2 and minus 3.46 and now suddenly we've got uh, a nice picture of what this looks like so using the fact that a negative number squared um, is the same as the it's, it's positive version squared and using the you know the symmetry of x and y here suddenly we've got this whole picture and we can perceive that this looks like it's going to be uh, a circle and indeed it does turn out to be that. So there we go. It found all the whole number points, had to explore a bit further before we could work out it was a circle. But uh, you know, once that pattern starts to emerge we can see it's a circle. If you need if you weren't sure you could check some more values, you could look you know see what happens at three or one or something and uh, and work out the corresponding point. Um but uh, there we go. Another example then is x plus two y equals three. So um I might uh so let's look for values uh, whose coordinates x comma y satisfy this relationship and then plot them on our axis with uh, x and y so uh, one that I can see works here, pause the video and try and write some up for yourself before we do this um, we could do uh, 1, 1, that works if I make x1 and 2 times 1 that gives me 3 so, uh, so this point here, 1, 1 is on the locus um, if I made x equals 3, I could have y equals 0, and that would work. 3 plus 0 is 3, so there's another point here. Um, other things that work, I could do 5 and minus 1. 5 minus 2 is 3, so there's a point in here. Uh, starting to get a bit of a form here, uh, but let's um, see if this carries on. So uh, what about if I had x is 7? Well, then I would have uh, 7 plus 2y equals 3, so 2y is minus 4, or y is minus 2, we can see 7 and minus 4 here, so 7 and minus 2 gives 7 minus 4 is 3. Here's me another point in here, and it looks like we're getting a straight line, and actually you can check some further points and see that you really do get a straight line, all the points that I'm putting on here, whole number of points do work, and indeed all the points in between them work as well, and you can sort of uh, perhaps see here in the form of the line, why this sort of happens. If I if I start at a particular point that works here, let's say this one here, uh, minus 3, 3, if I add 1 to y and make this uh, y equals 4, well this whole left hand side goes up by 2, so I've got to reduce x by 2 to make sure it still equals 3, so this would become minus 5, 4, so uh, y has gone up by 1 and x has had to reduce by 2 and that's true at any other point on the line. If I increase y by 1, x has to go down by 2 to compensate. So if x goes up by 1, so if y goes up by 1, x goes down by 2. And that's true uh, everywhere on this on this line and that gives us this constant gradient that we're familiar with from a straight line. Um, and we'll talk a bit more about the equation of uh, straight lines in particular in another video because they're a very important type of, uh, of, of uh, graph here, uh, but for now I want you really to get the idea of uh, graphs, we've done three uh, different graphs there, we had um, x times y equals 16 for the first one, x squared plus y squared is 16 for the second one, and then finally we've got uh, x plus 2y equals 3 for the last one, all very different forms, but same idea that the graph is the set of all the points uh, whose coordinates satisfy this uh, algebraic relation.